In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create this car sales landing page by using Seedprod, which is the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder. You can join over 1 million professionals who use Seedprod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts. You can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. I'm going to be using the pro version in this video, so you can click on the green button here to get Seedprod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. If you need help installing Seedprod, check the link in the description below to a video on how to do that. Here I have a clean installation of WordPress, and on the left-hand side, we can see I have Seedprod installed. Let's go to Landing Pages, and down here, we're going to click on Add New Landing Page. I'm going to start with a blank template for this one and click the check mark, and we can give the page a name. I'll just call mine Cars, but you can call it whatever you wish. Save and start editing the page. And here we can see the Seedprod page builder. On the right side, we can see a preview of the page that we're building, and we have the blocks in the left-hand side. We're going to be using AI today as well to help us build out this website with some of the images and the text itself. First off, we have our section here. This is the section that contains all of the elements on the page. It's the purple. Let's click on Section Settings here. On the left-hand side, I want to come down under Section Width, and I want to change this to Fixed Width. I'm going to bring this down actually to around 700. I think that looks fine. And then I'm going to come under Advanced. Down here we have spacing, and I just want to push this off the page a little bit from the top. So I'll put 50 pixels there, and I'll put 50 on the bottom just in case it hits the bottom of the page. The other thing I want to do is have rounded corners. So if we come under border, let's go border radius, and I'll add 50 on each side here. We can't see that quite yet. We have to add a background. So let's come back to content, and I'm going to add a background image. For the default color, I just want it to be white. So we'll just change that to white. And then for the background image, we're going to choose your own image. And I already have some images here that I've created earlier. So I'm just going to select this one right here, the car background, and we'll select this. It's a little bit hard to see. So I just want to add my top section here, my layout inside of this section. So I want to have a, lo a logo on the left-hand side and a menu on the right. So I'll click here. And then I'm just going to select this row. And this will just be temporary. We'll go under advanced spacing. And for the margin at the top, I'll just do maybe 500 just so I can see the image here. And we'll come back and change this. So here's the section settings. Now I can see the image. I can come down and we can change the background positioning. And if you want to change where you want this to show on your background, you can go ahead and play with these settings. I'll just do a full screen cover for now. For the overlay color, I want to change this to white. And I want to dim this down so we can see that the white, it just slightly shows on the background. We, we don't want it to be too strong. Great. Let's go into advanced and we'll just add one more thing here. Advanced styles shadow. And I just want to add a two times shadow here. We can see that slightly around the edge here. To make this pop off the page a little bit more, let's go to the bottom left here and we have our global settings. We'll be coming back here a few times. And I want to change the background color. And right now it's a solid white. I want this to be in the blue realm. So I'll bring this down maybe somewhere a little bit gray blue right here I think looks pretty good. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and select our row here. This is the row sections. We'll come under advanced spacing and we'll get rid of that 500 that we add earlier. And we can see that gets back up at the top. I want to have my logo here on the left side. So I'm just going to grab a image and I'll drag this in. You can select the image settings here and we can actually add one with AI. You could click here, put in your description and you could create a random logo if you like, if you don't have one and you could use that. I've already created one here. So I'm going to use my own image and it's just a little symbol of a car here. We'll select this and I'll adjust the sizing a bit, maybe 200, maybe 150. I'm not sure yet. We can adjust that later. I'm going to align this to the left side, and I think that looks good. On the right-hand side, I want to have a menu. So let's come back here by clicking the blocks, and I'll search for the menu. And we have the nav menu. This is built into Seedprod. It just creates simple menus for us. Here we have the block settings. And I want to immediately align this to the right side, which I think looks good. And let's make that font a little bit bigger, maybe around 20, 25. I think I'll have everything kind of big on this page. For the menu items, I'll just do cars, trucks, SUVs, and maybe a contact. And these will just link to my main website. Right now, this is just a landing page to get sales. So we're trying to capture emails from people. So this one will be cars. And then you would link to your cars page. Maybe you have a website that has a listing of all of those cars already. Now you can duplicate this a few times, or you can add a new item if you wish, and then just click on each one here to update these. Here we have the space between. I'm going to add some space between these here. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead under advanced settings. And we have some options here for colors. I'm going to go for text color. And I think I want something in the blue as well here, but maybe in the darker side of this. So a dark blue. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's go under edit for topography. And I want this to be a little bit more bold. So we'll do that. And I think all caps is fine. If we come back, we can go under hover color here. And I want to select maybe that same one, but have it a little bit brighter. So when we hover, it'll be a lighter blue. 
when that's done. So let's go ahead and you can see that this isn't aligned properly. So I want to select the row settings. So this is the whole row for both columns. And if we come to the bottom, we have a vertical alignment and we can click this to center this vertically, which looks good. Great, I think that looks pretty good. Let's add our next section. So I'll add a row here. And I just want two even sections here. And we'll just maybe put in some placeholders here. So I think I want a headline here. And I think I want to select this and align it to the left. I also want to have some text underneath this. I also want a, I think I image on the right hand side. You could also put a video if you want to do a video message to the people that are on your page, that might work as well. I think I want another headline below here. So let's add a section and I'll just do a single section for this area. So let's do a headline here and then maybe a little bit of text underneath that. Not this much. We'll probably remove a bunch of this. And then underneath that, I want an opt-in form. So if you come under advanced, we'll do an opt-in form. And now we can customize this uh, to make it look how we want the colors, the fonts, all of that. Now that we have everything here, let's go again back to the bottom left for global settings. And let's check out our fonts here. I'm going to find a font here that I like and I'll go with Jost. This will be for our headlines and I'll maybe make this a black 900 just so it stands out really nice. For the body text, I'll keep this simple. Maybe something like Verdana. I think that looks fine. And then we can close this and come down to the colors. So for the text here, I think I just want this to be maybe a dark gray which is already kind of in that area. And then we have our headers as well. And there we go after playing with it for a bit. This is what I ended up with. And then we have our text here that we can actually change now. So let's go under block settings. We can generate this with AI text if we like. Here you could write your description for what you want the text to be. So we'll just write a short headline for a car sales landing page and you can generate this text and then insert it. Okay, great. Find your dream car today. I think that works pretty good. Let's go ahead and increase this font a little bit. I'm gonna have it pretty large and we can adjust that later. Same thing with the text down here. I'm just gonna click on block settings and generate AI text. So here I want a paragraph of text that describes our car dealership and why we're the best and why you should sign up below with your email. Great, so here's the text that I generated and inserted. And I think that looks pretty good. On the right hand side, I want a picture of our dealership. So you can go ahead and add with AI, describe your image prompt here. So I could do a car dealership showing a lot of beautiful cars in the parking lot. Let's generate that image. And I also generated one earlier as well if we need a background image but this is fine. We'll see what this generates for us. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and insert this one. It's pretty colorful and it pops off the page. So I like that. You could go ahead and create a new one if you like, if you don't like this, this is just good for an example. Let's go to block settings and I want to go to the templates and I think I want to add maybe just a quick shadow on this. We can see that pops it off the page a little bit and then we can come under advanced and image border. And here I want to do maybe 50 on the sides, just like the outside here as well. We'll add a border around a border on this image as well. So now we can go ahead and adjust this a little bit. I think I want this text to be a little bit bigger. And I think we can adjust the uh, columns here so we can resize these. I could bring the image over a bit if we wanted. And we could adjust this a bit more if we like. So I can bring the size down. We can see how that evens it out a little bit along the bottom here. So we can just make sure to get that just right so it looks good. Fantastic. Let's come down to the bottom and we have the next headline here. These are just going to be short. So I don't think I need to generate them with AI. If you want, you can go ahead, but I'm just going to change this here to let's get started. And then we have more text underneath here at the bottom. And I'll just do a quick message about maybe signing up with your email. And let's go ahead and center this one. And I think I want this text to be pretty big as well, just to catch attention. So I'll have this increased right about here. I think that looks good. Now we have the actual form itself to collect the emails. So we can have Seedprod collect the emails if you like. But you can also opt in here with the connect page. Once you click connect, we have these third party email marketing services. So if you use any of these, for example, constant contact, you can click on connect, connect new account and add your API key. Then you can connect, connect here. And this will have one of these third party email marketing services, manage your emails for you. Let's come back down to change the design. So I'll go to block settings and on the left hand side, I'll change this maybe to large. Everything's pretty large on this page to grab attention. And I just want to update the submit button text here. So let's change this to maybe get started. I think that looks good. And then I just want to change the spacing on the left and right. Right now it's full width. If we come over to advanced and we have spacing here on the left, I can do the padding. Let's uncheck this link. And on the left and right, let's do maybe 200 just to push this on both sides. Great. And then last thing, because we have a dark logo, I kind of want something else dark down here. So let's go to templates and we have the dark input field. And I think that makes it really pop off the page and grabs your attention. And there you go. Let's go ahead and save this and I'll hit the drop down button here and we'll go ahead and publish this. 
let's go ahead and see the live page. There you go. You can see your car sales landing page here. So this will help you grab some leads. I think it looks pretty good. It'll grab attention. It's quick and easy. You can send people to your website here with the menu. You can capture their information here with the email, the name, and to get started. And then you can go ahead through the process of running them through your sales team. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.